Hey guys, um, it's Rodney again, and I'm rambling, and this is about the 15th time that I've restarted this video, and I'm honestly starting to get frustrated, and we're just gonna go, so, <sighs> I'm gonna try to convince you that, um, if you are a newcomer to the SCA, instead of getting a barrel and cutting that thing up and make an armor out of it, don't don't do that. Don't please please don't do that. Um, what I would rather you do is get some leather, some good leather, and make some armor out of that instead. It's probably not going to take you much more like in tools and money to do that than it would out of the barrel and um there's lots of people that'll help you um and i'm one of them so um here goes so <laughs> first off <clears throat> hunting down that barrel isn't really going to be that hard, but like, you know, there's no telling what's been in that barrel. And I can tell you what's been in your leather, a cow. That's it. When you go get that barrel, depending on where that barrel's been and what has been stored in that barrel, you've got some work to do. So the first thing you're going to want to do with your barrel once you get it is you're going to want to rinse your barrel out um, and you're going to want to scrub your barrel out and that's going to take a whole lot of work that honestly a lot of people end up skipping that step and you'll I've seen it happen where when people end up making their armor, they don't scrub the plates that they make out of their armor. And the first time they go fight at a fighter practice, or sometimes they'll make their armor and they've already authorized. And they go fight at a war or they go fight at a tournament and they sweat in that new armor. And whatever was in that barrel sweats into their skin and gives them a, an allergic reaction or a caustic reaction because usually what's in those blue barrels was soap. And, like, usually soap isn't a problem, but... And I'm sure someone in the comments goes, oh, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But anyway. Um, but it's like car wash soap and it's concentrated... And, like, now it's on your skin, and you're rubbing it, and, like, you sweated it on your skin, and you've been fighting on it all day, and, like, cool, now you've got a rash. Alright, so, that happens. You know what that doesn't happen with? Leather. You know what is negligibly more expensive than a barrel? Uh, a single shoulder of leather which is like seven to nine square feet worth of leather, which is like not enough to make a breastplate with, depending on how efficiently you use your leather. Like, but still, it'll get you close. I don't know why I'm being so hostile. Probably because I'm frustrated because I had to start this video over so many times. But anyway... As I was saying, like, and that's with the blue barrels. Like, most of the time, blue barrels, and I'm talking about the 50-gallon, the big ones. The little ones, I don't need, I never even mess with the little ones. Don't waste your time on the little ones. Some people waste their time on the little ones. Whatever. To each their own. I'm not here to tell you to not do that. Actually, I kind of am get leather um but anyway new reason but anyway the black ones 
Those are used to store some other kind of stuff. Pay attention to the labels. The labels will tell you all kinds of stuff. If the labels have really nasty warning signs on them, then you might want to get some good stuff to clean your plates with if you choose to go with the plastic barrels and ignore Roland, who's telling you to go with leather, even though the title of this video is going to be something along the lines of don't buy plastic barrels, get leather, and make your newbie armor with. Okay, so the next reason is like all the patterns that I've ever seen anyone try to use with these barrels have been patterns that have been meant to be used with leather. And surprise, surprise, they never really work with the barrels. They only kind of work. And no one has really ever taken the time to make patterns that actually work with the barrels because it's a stopgap. If you were going to make plastic armor that actually works for SCA, like, then you might as well just make armor that works in metal or works in leather because you're going to be doing SCA for a long time, and that's typically what people have done. So, hey, newbie kid that wants to be in the SCA for a while because you're obviously making your armor, you know, go ahead. Invest a little bit. You obviously like what you're doing. Let's go ahead and do it in leather, man. And you know, I know I just said man, but like, I've done this process as many times with dudes as I have with chicks. Like, we also need to start developing good patterns for women, too. And you know what has been one of the best materials for female armor? Or armor that has worked for... Let's get that exacto knife if I'm using my hands to talk. Let's get that out of the way. One of the best materials for... Um, let me get this term right. Uh... People assigned female at birth, like, has been leather. It's one of the most... And that brings me to my next point. If you're worried about, like, I've never worked with this material before, or if you're worried about, like... So leather and, like, hmm. Like, leather can be kind of expensive. Like, I can understand that as a barrier, but it, it can be surprisingly, hey, Jack, inexpensive, too. It really can be surprisingly inexpensive. For If you're making SCA armor, one of the best pieces of leather for making SCA armor, and once again, someone's going to show up in the friggin' comments and just destroy me, but hey... I'm an SCA knight, and, like, I've been fighting in this stuff for years, so what do I know? Um, is a single shoulder, and you can get that stuff at leatherguy.com or leatherguy.org. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description. For $20, it's 7 to 9 square feet. I buy two at a time. If it's not enough to make the piece that you're making, you can sew it together. You can piece it, you know, just like you, you'd you piece fabric, you know. So, piece it. Do it. Just like, this stuff is forgiving. That's one of the things that I hope 
you guys get an impression from this channel. Like, Roland. They, they knighted Roland, guys. If they knighted Roland, you stick with this stuff long enough, and you train hard enough, and you put yourself into this hard enough, you, you'll make it, okay? You, we, we can do it, all right? If you believe hard enough, you can get there. All right. <laughs> All right. But anyway, back to leather. So, another thing, like, belly leather isn't great for armor, but, like, you can get belly leather for, like, $25 for a side. Well, not a side, but, like, you can get a big, long strip of belly leather. Um, one of my local places called Jackson's, if you're in the Asheville area, you can go down there. They got a whole table of it and anything on this table is 20 to $25. I'm sure if you got a place like Jackson's, if you've got a Tandy in your area, if you've got a Weaver in your area, if you've got a leather store in your area, they've got a table like this. Like, leather, yes, is expensive, but it's also surprisingly inexpensive, okay? So, like, depending on the piece that you're making, if you're making a demi-gauntlet, you can get the leather that you need to make a demi-gauntlet pretty inexpensively. Like, go into these places with, like, your patterns, like... You know, go on Etsy, go on the internet, go on Reddit, go on these places, hunt down your patterns, make your patterns, figure out how to do this stuff, ask around, you know, ask the old, you know, fogies in your SCA groups for patterns, ask for help. There are people that are just chomping at the bit that want to help you. Dudes like me in your area that like... I'm making YouTube videos because I want to help people so bad. Like, that'll help you get started. If you go into the leather stores with your patterns, chances are you'll walk out, like, with, if you're worried about, like, money being a thing, you'll, they'll sell you just, like, just the leather that you need. Or, like, as close to the leather that you need, maybe. I I haven't tried that yet. Ask nicely. See what happens. Leather pro tip number 450. Ask nicely. See what happens. Um, let's see. Um... I'm sure there are many, many other reasons why you should go with leather. Oh, let's see. Another reason why you should go with leather um, instead of plastic is that you can you can dye leather any pretty much any color you want. Um, here's the thing, though. Um, I'm not going to say plastic has any advantage. No, no. You can pretty much, and if you can't dye it any color you want, you can paint it any color you want. Angelus, um, EcoFlow, um, Tandy even has some leather dyes. Well, leather paint. Did I say Tandy? I meant Phoebings. Phoebings calls it leather dye. Phoebings does have some fantastic leather dyes. I was talking about paint. <clears throat> Phoebings calls it leather dye, but I was talking about paint. Hold on. If you need... Hmm. I'm not starting this video over, but hold on. You can decorate your leather. 
This is another reason why, man, we're rambling at this point. You can go back to before 14 if you want to. Here's Jack. Man, leather's great. If you want to peacock your stuff up, leather is amazing. A huge advantage over the plastic because, man, you can take your leather, you can dye it, you can take other pieces of leather and sew it up in like just outlandish patterns. But what I was talking about with the Feebings, like me and Ian Monroe, if you know this dude, he's great. He works leather like just, he's a legend in the SCA community over here. But like, <sighs> They have the gall to call it leather dye. Acrylic leather dye. And in their own description of it, they call it paint. Ah. It's... It, I'm just a curmudgeon. I'm going to be that grumpy old man, like, once I pass middle age. But... So, long story short, guys and gals, and everything in between, if you want to fight in the SCA and be well protected, all you need is some leather. All you need is some golf wax from Ingalls. They sell it in the... In the in the canon section, you don't need any of this fancy stuff. I'm going to show you how to do all this stuff, man. And ladies, I'm sorry. Look, I'm working on the gender and stuff. I'm working on the pronoun stuff. I'm trying to do better. I really am. It's how I talk when I'm comfortable. You know, um, I'll show you what all these tools are for. Um, and here's the thing. When I'm showing you how to do all this stuff, I'm going to show you guys how to do all of this stuff with, like, nothing. Like, there are people that will show you how to do these leather working tutorials with all of the fanciest tools available. I'm going to show you how to do this stuff with the Bobo Walmart stuff. I'm going to show you how to do leather crafting with crap. Because that's what I got and that's what I can afford. How did I get red dye on me? I haven't worked with red dye in days. This is leather craft. But anyway. So if you guys have hung in with me for 8 minutes and 30 seconds. I have many many other reasons why you should skip the barrel. And go straight to leather. I wish I had a tripod where I could look you straight in the eye. And not be offset. <clears throat> but anyway, like, comment, subscribe, do all the regular YouTube stuff. Um, share this with all of your SCA newbie people. Um, I highly recommend um, leatherguy.com or .org or whatever it is. If you go to leatherguy.com, it'll take you to wherever it is. Um, I'll put, you know... Links down in the description. If you need patterns, I also highly recommend um, Dark Horse Workshop for patterns. Um, that's where I've gotten mine recently when I'm not making my own. Um, I highly recommend getting other people's patterns instead of making your own because making your own patterns is hard. <laughs> so Dark Horse Workshop, his patterns are great. Um, if you can't afford... His, um, if you can't afford to buy his armor, buy his patterns and make his armor 
Because his armor is great. Like, I can't recommend his armor enough. Like, as soon as I found out his patterns were available, I was like, hell yeah, yeah, I want his patterns. Like, so yeah, Dark Horse Workshop. Great stuff. Um, <coughs> big fan, if you can't tell. I've been a big fan. Like... If I get a mention, I will, I don't know what I will do. I don't know what you do when you get mentions. Is there a thing? Someone let me know. Uh, anyway, I already said the thing. I thought I was ending the video. This is what you do, like in this, in, you know, <coughs> in the, in the South. When you uh, when you think you're you're gonna go home, and then you take you say bye, and you're like, hey, see you later, and and then you talk for five more minutes, and you're like, oh bye, you hang up first, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I only say that because all the other YouTube guys say that, and I'm a YouTube guy now. Because I have a ring light. Well, bye.